Hello everyone, it's John, and you won't recognise who this is. This is Pippin, the new Slimline puppy. Yes, he's a uh, he's had a haircut, and as you notice, look at the muscles. There's some, look at the muscles on this little man. Yes, I, <laughs> poor little man. I really shouldn't pick on him. Ah, oh, oh dear. Yes, he's. Uh, I've. Uh, I'll have some photos. Oh yes, I know. Yes, he's a handsome puppy now. Although I call him, he's got what I call girly dreadlocks or girly locks. No, he's not. He's not girly at all. He's handsome. Isn't he? Hello. He's looking at the camera. No. <laughs> he's been a real sook since he's had his hair cut. He's doing nothing but sitting on my lap. It's probably the fact that he can sit more comfortably on my lap now. He can curl up. Yes, I know you can curl up. He can curl up quite comfortably and he's very, very happy. So, uh, yes, he's, uh, he's a happy chap. He's literally half, literally half the puppy he was. So, as I think... I may have said before, for those people who are new to the channel, and uh, for the long term, he's a uh, Maltese cross. He's uh, He's got uh, some uh, Shisu in him, and uh, some Border Collie, which is where the black and white comes in, and uh, where he's got a bit of his uh, solid build, because... Not so much now, but when he's got his full coat of hair on, uh, and uh, and that when he hits you with a bit of speed, he's a rather solid. He's a very solid lad. So uh, yeah, so he's all geared up for our Australian summers, which can get quite warm. Certainly here in uh, in Queensland, I'm in the. Uh, up in the northern, well not quite northern, I'm in the, uh, I guess if you would run a line across the middle of uh, Australia, I guess I'm in the middle, I'm in the middle part. So where Brisbane is in Queensland, so uh, not quite up the top end and uh, certainly not down in those, those southern states. Good Lord, I've had a had a change. Yes, <clears throat> I've um, had to edit my uh, previous video once I reviewed it and thought, I can't put that in. <laughs> I've had to take a few things out. So <clears throat> when I was um, talking in my previous one, uh, things that have happened um, on the 12th, of October because today's the 31st so it just shows you how much time has disappeared since I last um, I guess made the first video uh, on the 12th my wife and I celebrated our 35th wedding anniversary yes 35 years married my poor dear she's been shackled to this old hulk for 35 years yes no she's done well to put up with me for so long but she knew who she was marrying thankfully when she married me because uh, she worked in a game shop so uh, uh, that made life so much easier so uh, thank you my dearest Michelle for putting up with me for 35 years we have two beautiful adult children um, sadly no grandchildren yet, but will I live long enough to, to see any? Who knows? But yeah, 35 years married, so that was celebrated. And of course October is a rather busy month for a lot of people. <clears throat> I notice a number of people are, uh, that I know uh, celebrate their birthdays or they're celebrating uh, anniversaries themselves. So of course it's, it's spring-autumn. 
so they seem to be the two popular periods I guess for uh, for weddings it's not too hot not too not too cold so uh, works out works out well so there we have that was um, that's that little bit of news uh, the other bit of news that's happened is that sadly my role-playing groups have all died yep my role-playing groups have died my board gaming groups have died they seem to prefer to play online which is of really no great benefit to me um, my computers or computer um, just can't keep up and if anything um, you know I think my machine's the one that's causing all the problems when we try to connect and, and play and I'm just I'm just giving up now it's just not worth the, the constant delays and and that so um, I'm just you know it's it's going backwards you know my local club has ceased to uh, exist uh, i don't have a motor vehicle to be able to travel to any of the other clubs anymore um, there's none that are local um, you know i refuse to um, to play in game uh, in in game shops not that there's any that are that are i guess they're local um, and to be quite honest, they're full of, I guess, people that don't treat old people very nicely, shall we say. So, um, you know, that's sadly the way the world is. So I've gone from having started to, I suppose, get better in some respects to going back to where I was 10 years ago and um, yeah which means that it's just going to be me myself and I but what can you do not much not much at all so um, apart from that very little else has has happened um, trying to think what else needs to be um, potted along with um, no that's fairly much it so uh, it'll be a short video just a hey look this is this is what's happened it was you know dogs had his hair cut we've celebrated 35 years of marriage D&D's dead. Um, board gaming's essentially dead, unless people want to start meeting again. And um, yeah, who knows? All right. Well, look, um, I'll hopefully post something far more cheery <laughs> in uh, in due course. I don't know. I'm running out of things to uh, to uh, to show, um, but. Uh, We'll see what happens. So anyway, look, thanks very much for your time. And until next time, signing off, the Honourable John.